Time for some Minecraft. Let's see what I got in this chest. No, 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 no. Chests might be the worst part of late game Minecraft, but in today's episode of Wafflecraft Tutorials, I have a solution for you. This storage system is fully modular and you're able to make it whatever size you practically want. Oh, you need a lot of wood, but you know I got you guys covered. I always do. And that's why it hurts that a little over 1% of you subscribe. If I helped you out throughout this video, please consider leaving a like as it really helps this channel. And just like I promised, here are my favorite comments from the last video. But without wasting too much time, let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is put three double chests on top of each other. You are able to go as high as you want on this. Just keep in mind that the redstone has to be on the top three layers. Now place a hopper going into each chest that you place down, even if you did more than me. And then on the back of those hoppers, you're gonna wanna place building blocks in the shape of a T, kind of like I just did. And on that very bottom block, you're gonna wanna put your repeater down and leave it to zero ticks and place a block on the side of that repeater to close that gap up. Now you can grab your redstone torch and place it on this middle block facing towards the hopper. Then place your comparator facing away from the hoppers and three redstone dust coming out the other end of the comparator. Now on that comparator, you're gonna wanna place a hopper above the other hoppers pointing into the comparator. And now at an anvil, you're gonna wanna take any item that you have a bunch of and rename it to filler. Keep in mind, you'll need four of these for every item you wanna sort. And going into that hopper we just placed, you're gonna wanna put one of these named sticks in each of the last four slots. Now go ahead and grab the item that you want sort and place a stack into the hopper. Every item that you want sorted is going to need at least 41 items in each hopper. However, if you can only do one item, then it'll just fill up the hopper until it hits 41 and then it'll start filling up your chests. Now, as you can see, we're getting the items in the bottom. It's going down the hopper line all the way to the bottom chest. All we need now is our input. So I'm gonna put these temporary blocks here and this is gonna be a line of hoppers. This will be our input line that sends all the items that we want sorted through the system. So if we just put our input chest down right here, it should go down the hoppers and follow it down to the right until it hopefully finds a hopper below that it can fit into. So if we just go ahead and put in a stack of stone, you should see it starts immediately pulling it out. The hopper recognizes that it does fit this item in the stack so it pulls it downwards and then it sends the items down to the lowest chest possible that's not already filled but now that we know that it works i'm going to scale it up so you can see what this machine's really capable of Now before you get too far ahead of yourself and think the build's done, you still gotta go through and make sure all your sticks are in place and that every hopper is filled with an item. One thing I wanted to make sure you knew is that it does sort items that only stack to 16. Instead of 41 items, it'll take 10 in the hopper. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. However, it does not sort single stack items. But now that we have everything that we want sorted in the hoppers, we can go into our input chest and test to see if things work. So this first chest I have sorting stone. So I'm gonna place a stack of 64 stone in and immediately we can see that it's already pulling. So our system is in place. But now I wanna show you that items with a max stack size of 16 do work in the item filter. So 
I placed my armor stands in my input chest and as we see they are coming out on the other side. But now you're probably like, Waffles, what about my single stack items? Well let's say you're putting in items and you accidentally clicked in your sword. You can see that the golden apples that we threw in are getting sorted. But by placing another sorter at the end of the input hopper line, and this sorter has none of the redstone on it, if it's all working properly it should put all your extra items that don't get sorted at the end. I do normally like making my overflow chest a little bit bigger because it will start to fill up fast and once it completely fills up it will jam your system. But that's pretty much it guys, you now have the basic knowledge to build a redstone sorting system in vanilla minecraft. Peace.